So there are a couple features that I wanted to show in Pixlr. Um, first of all, you know, you see you have the clone stamp tool, you have the main tools you do in Photoshop, and I've, you know, I showed those in the GIMP tutorial, and I've shown those in Photoshop tutorials before, so I'm not going to go through those again. Um, you know, some of the cool things, you know, we do have the new layer tool, which I do like. You know, it's very similar to Photoshop, same look and feel. Um, but, you know, let me take a look at some of the tools that Pixlr has that aren't as easy to do in GIMP. Um, so let me just select something. I'm going to take the selection tool and I am going to select the person in this picture. Um, I'm going to copy and paste them. I'm going to go to edit, copy, and then edit, paste. I like how um, GIMP actually tells me when I'm doing it. Um, and I can simply, you know, I'm, you notice that I'm on layer two now. You know, um, there are a bunch of things to do. Um, if I select this tool, the move tool, notice that I can click my, you know, my arrows and I can move my image around if I want to. Um, if I look over in the layers panel, I can actually make this image, you know, change the opacity, which changes how visible it is. So, you know, I can make it clear or very solid, which is very neat. Um, you know, something Photoshop definitely does do. But what I really wanted to show you were the uh, you know drop shadow and the bevel features. So if I click this little layer styles tool right here, the drop shadow, inner shadow, bevel, outer glow, inner glow comes up. Um, and these are nice features that I do tend to use quite a bit. Um, for instance, let's say I take drop shadow. Notice how I've automatically created a drop shadow. Uh, let's see, let's say I wanted to change the bevel. I have now given, you know, this, let's say I was just creating a button for the web. You know, I've got now given it a nice, you know, smooth round effect. And I can move this around anywhere. I've now given it a nice shadow, I've given it a nice smooth round effect, so I've basically created a nice little button. Um, it's something that I, you know, I like to, I do like to use this feature a lot when I'm creating web buttons and things like that. 